What is going on guys? So today we're going to run no microphone. This is the microphone off the camera. Let me know uh, how it goes and um, if the audio isn't that bad then I'll probably run without the microphone um, until I get another cord. But today we're going to be looking at my cockroach bin. <laughs> It's an old uh, Cadbury ice cream freezer with the glass lid. Now, it doesn't seal very well. It seals well around the edges here, but if you look here, there is a massive gap there. So what I've done is I've put a absolute butt ton of uh, petroleum jelly, Vaseline. What did I use? Where is it? I used uh, white petroleum jelly from, uh, it's like a Coles brand, uh, but I guess anything like that works. I used that on my old setup, but um, I had a problem with, it was sort of overpopulated in there, and um, the heat wasn't getting out of it, um, and yeah, I just had a few problems with it. I guess I want to try and make a bigger area for less maintenance. Eventually find the best mix for doing uh, cockroaches and, and maybe spend a little bit more time cleaning them. But yeah, I'm going to make this one and try and make it a little bit better and um, maybe get some trays so I can pull that out and just clean the trays out and whatever. But anyway, in the bottom of this thing, let me put you guys in here. In the bottom of this thing, I put in stainless mesh, so this is the security door stuff, and um, give me a second, sorry. So it's the stainless mesh for security doors, and there is a big cutout here. I teched it down, and I put silicon in it. Um, there is a little, few little lifted spaces, so I might need to go back and re-silicon them, and um, yeah, once I pack that full of silicon, like this corner here, there was no way they'll get out from there and then I'll take off the edges so nobody can cut themselves on it. But yeah, that's where the vent is at the bottom and if I need to in the long run, maybe there's a whole little space. So you take off this part, there's a whole square or well, rectangle. You can see there that lifted up bits where the motor was and that's completely empty now so I can put a maybe like a two computer fans in there and um, that'll circulate the air so it doesn't um, all sit in there and like enclosures you want an in and an out so you put a bottom vent at the bottom which is where air comes in and then the top air at the top takes the hot air out so that's why you see vents in enclosures at the bottom on one side and at the top on the other side so it creates and its own sort of suction out. Well, that's the theory anyway. I'm pretty sure that's what they do it for, but I talk a lot of crap, so whatever. Um, so yeah, that, that the idea would be that the fans would push in and the air would come straight out the other way and that way. Uh, maybe if it is a hot day, like a super hot day, I could just put a bucket of ice next to it and um, just blow it over with that. So. Anyway, let's chuck in a bunch, well we're not chucking in all of them, just in case there's something major that I overlooked, um, but I'm going to chuck in a fair few and I will show you them yesterday, actually yeah I did get a video yesterday of me getting them out of the bag that I got off Troy, um, Troy's my mate in Hocking that breeds cockroaches because he's got a very... Uh, Oh wait, there's another bit of news there too. Yeah, all right, all right, we'll finish this bit. So he's um he's very cluey and he's very uh he's very particular about his stuff and he uh he's mastered the art of breeding cockroaches and he's got heaps of lizards which he feeds them to and um and I just need them for my frogs and I don't really have enough of them to justify feeding them to my lizards and every now and then losing a few so. Um, breeding them myself would be the best thing, but I'll probably mess this lot up again and uh, end up having to get more off of them. But good thing he's alright. <laughs> but I actually swapped him um, 
a couple of fish lights that I had lying around, um, and ugh, he gave me, he was like, I'll swap you a thousand, a thousand fish, a fish, a thousand cockroaches for your fish lights, and I was like, oh, I'm down for that, and um, obviously when it comes to giving people thousands of things or hundreds of things, kind of like when I used to sell my shrimp, um, people would ask for a hundred of them and you'd just grab a scoop of them knowing well and truly that there would be more than a hundred of them and, um, and that was how you'd work it out. Now some people have tried counting them a few times on me and um, that's a bit silly but yeah we won't get into that, that's another story for another day. But yeah he, um, he did a huge bag of them, like there is, there's way more than a thousand in there and it was Hectic. I should have done a, a film of the sound that this bag made when I uh, moved it and it was solid and it was like, if you don't like cockroaches, that would have been your worst nightmare of a pillowcase. Like, wow, it was crazy. It was like... <clears throat> Talking about that, we should probably get a hissing cockroach because they're pretty cool, but we'll wait for the shed to be done for that one. Let's chuck these cockroaches in there. I gotta stop talking. Wait, was I talking about something else? <gasps> no, we'll talk about that after. Alright, alright. Ready? There's cockroaches! Ready? Can I see? Oh, oh. Yeah, you'll see them in a second. Ready? All right, now to give you a rough idea of how many cockroaches there was, if you don't like cockroaches, this seems like a lot of cockroaches. Like, there's heaps of them in there. When they pack together, they don't look like lots. But, that is one egg carton that was at the top and you go through, like that's heavy. There is a lot of cockroaches there. But if we, I mean we could have scared them, I should have scared them all into one egg container and then done this, cause you guys would have been like, what? All right, look at that. They're everywhere. And I have a feeling this last one, if I've done this right, is absolutely, Chockers, look at that, that's hectic. Now watch them come up here. There is a bit of dirt and poop from the wind blowing their, their dirt around. And so if they manage to connect a few pieces of dirt, they can get out. But the petroleum jelly stops them from getting out. It works, it definitely works. But you got to keep on top of it. Maintenance is probably going to be the key thing on this one because that is little. This is massive and um, maintenance. So when it gets like this, so when the jelly gets like this, see there's like some dirtier stuff in it so they can, if they manage to work out where the bridges are, they can, they can get out quite easily. So um, yeah. Hopefully this works. We'll help this guy over. You stuck there, mate? You stuck? We'll help you over. Or are you dying? You might have been dying. I don't know. But yeah, that is... That is how many cockroaches... There is so many cockroaches in here. And I love it. Because they're bred so much, every animal in the world can throw out... Well, actually, I don't know of every animal in the world. That I probably shouldn't say that. But look at this guy. He is... A nice white cockroach. They're so cool. I kind of wanted to make a white cockroach only, um, a white cockroach only bin, which maybe we'll do it one day. I don't know, because there's another one there. When it comes to the rodent side of things, people tend to like white mice. Um, and I, I wonder if people would be more inclined to stare at a whole bucket full of white cockroaches 
than a whole bucket full of brown cockroaches. Uh, it would be an interesting test. Maybe we should do that. All right, let's put these guys in there. Damn it, well, I'm starting to learn to check my camera. If I have doubts that something has gone wrong, I didn't run out of audio. I did the whole uh, click record twice at the end of a video. And um, then when I click record, it didn't record releasing them in here. It was bloody amazing. They were everywhere. But there is cockroaches everywhere in here. And now there is a layer of cartons underneath here. And then this layer. And then this, these two on top. And this. And it is already full of cockroaches. And I barely dented this box. Ignore this. I don't know where it came from. I think it flew from over the fence. But there is still heaps of cockroaches in there. This... Compared to that, this is huge. Like, this is massive. Now, my idea is to have all of the housing down there, and then I'll put the food and stuff up here, and every now and then I'll chuck down some food uh, into those ones and then replace them uh, every now and then. But I will be mainly putting the bigger food things up here, and that way I don't have to worry about um, if, if it gets moved or something like that, that these all, like the food spills into these and then they go all yucky and, um, yeah, so we'll put the food up here and, um, we'll see how it goes. It's just a test for now, but, um, yeah, I'm sorry I didn't get that releasing. I feel like we should put more in here just to show you guys that are scattering everywhere, but now there's already some in here. It doesn't look as impressive. That sucks. That's a bit of a bummer. Oh, well. I'm sure you guys get to see it. When I drop the rest of that in there, I promise you, I won't mess it up. And if I do, I don't know what the punishment will be. But I'll release them in there when the time is right, and um, we'll see that. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But anyway. For anyone that's asking questions and coming here for cockroach advice, if you are getting cockroaches from your store um, and you're having troubles keeping them alive. If you get a little bit of a bigger container and feed them some scraps, they, sh they, they should survive. Now, getting them water is difficult sometimes, right? Pisces has these little cubes here. Um, they're little squares. They've got, uh, I'm pretty sure they've got food, so the gut load in them. Um, it's uh, purify, pure, purify, well, I'm struggling with words today. Like, it's been happening all day. Purified rainwater, 92.3% uh, seaweed extract, vitamin C, calcium, and vegetable colouring. Couldn't they have just said green colour? I don't know. Whatever. Um, yeah, so it's got... It's, it's got stuff in it i don't know i honestly thought there was going to be more information on there but whatever let's just say if they just use it for water that's all right it's not necessary for you to buy that stuff this stuff does help if you are only using a little container but for a breeding scenario where you want to do it a lot and you've you've got to i would chew through these so quickly and they're not cheap so um, they're not ideal for breeding. Now, what you can use is water crystals. These are the little water crystals that you add water to. Um, they, in the lawn section, they're water, uh, water storage crystals. So, I'm pretty sure it's the same stuff that they sort of use in nappies and all of that. They absorb the water and then they're like orbies. There's little round balls. I mean, maybe even they would work. I don't know, they've got all these colours and stuff in it, so I probably wouldn't do it. But um, yeah, anyway, you put them, put a little bit of this into a mixture, it makes up a lot. Now, you don't want a lot, because I have done that, and I thought that that would work out mint, and, um, and all the babies drowned. Every single one of them uh, climbed into it, it turned into a mush real quickly, uh, so you definitely don't want it thick at all. Um, yeah, that was a bit of a bummer the first time round, but that's a part of learning, I guess. Um, but yeah, so that is a cheap way of doing it with the uh, water crystals, water saving crystals. I got these guys from Bunnings, but obviously 
if you guys don't have Bunnings hardware stores, garden stores, anywhere like that, should have something like that. If not, just ask them for water saving crystals and um, they should be able to hook you up with some or point you in the right direction to find some. They're not that hard to find. Now, my friend has a like a five or a 10 liter bucket of it because he uses a lot of it. Now, that is what you wanna be doing. You wanna be using a lot of it. That stuff is incredibly cheap. Now, both of these, this thing will last for ages and that was like eight or $11. And these are like, don't quote me on this, about 12 bucks each and they are good, but they will not go anywhere near as far as these. So if you're a small time insect keeper for your reptiles or whatever you're using them for, I can't remember what I was saying, my family came home. Um, but these are good if you're keeping um, a small amount. So if you're getting a thing of crickets or a thing of cockroaches, and you want them to just stay alive, I would probably recommend something like this. That way you can just give them a little cube. It's super easy to do. And um, you just put the cube in and they'll eat it. Now that gives them food and water. I would suggest also giving them uh, extra food on top of that. But that should, pro pro that should prolong the life of your insects if you're just keeping them. Um, don't keep them in the Pisces containers that they come in because They'll, they'll eat each other so quickly. Um, just get like a little container, not necessarily that big, um, but something like that. Put a mesh, uh, a mesh bit on it. Now, if you've got cockroaches, I found aren't that bad with eating through the mesh. Crickets, on the other hand, are incredibly bad at eating through the mesh. Um, you get the wire mesh, that stainless mesh. If they got through that. I'm going to breed them and sell them to the army because they would be some super bugs. There is no way they'll get through that stainless mesh. This stuff here is a little bit thicker uh, mesh, but I used the exact same mesh as that with my crickets and they smashed through it like that. Like they were, yeah, the crickets have got some nippers on them. Um, so you would want to make sure you use the right sort of mesh. You can get very fine. Uh, fly mesh, there's that mesh there which is way cheaper than the stainless mesh in there. I'm not telling you you need to buy stainless. I just had a, um, a handful of it given to me. They were off cuts from doors so um, I was going to use them up in the reptile enclosures as well. I've actually got quite a few sheets. Um, oh, so I guess if you're in Perth and you're watching this and you want some, maybe hit me up. I might be generous enough to give you some. Who knows? But back to it. If you're going to breed them, definitely go put your research into getting some crystals and sorting it out that way. Also, this stops crickets as well. It stops anything, I wouldn't, maybe not anything. This has stopped everything that I've tried them on, which is crickets and cockroaches. Um, the Vaseline or the petroleum jelly because this is way cheaper than buying bloody Vaseline. And um, yeah, so give that a shot. And if it doesn't work and you infect your house with cockroaches and crickets, I'm very sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna leave, actually no. Wait, we're gonna go see one more thing and then I'm gonna wrap up the video. I completely forgot to open up these things and show you the, the little cubes inside of them. I'll give them, we'll put a few in here and um, that way you can see them and you can make up your own mind. Um, I wouldn't suggest using a spoon. Actually, yeah, maybe use a spoon, but that is the little jelly ball there. And I literally just put them in the um, egg cartons and that worked for me last time. Um, and they come out and eat them. Ideally, uh, once these, if, if these get too wet, you want to replace them because the uh, mold will build up. Although I haven't had a problem with mold yet, but um, it well and truly could be a thing very quickly and don't put too many on top of each other because if they melt they um cause like a jelly stuff around them and um, little ones die the big ones not a problem but the little ones they die so yeah that's the that's the pisces uh insect stuff there might be cheaper stuff i only have this because i was given it by a friend um and yeah Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have bothered with it or I would have brought it just to try it out and um, It's very expensive for doing 
Big setups. Little setups if you were just to have a handful to keep them to make them stay alive for a little bit longer. They don't all die before you get to feed them off to your um, reptiles. That would work very well for them. Um, but we'll go have a look at one. Uh, there is two things that we could look at, but we're not going to look at the two things. I'll save that other thing for another day, but we're going to have a look at, we're going to go, just wait. You guessed it, we got something else. So I rocked up to Troy's house to grab the cockroaches and then um, he was like, he's got them in his bobtail enclosure. They run around and they make a mess and they lay eggs and the, the bobtails eat the eggs. So um, that works out pretty cool. And he was like, look, I got to get rid of a few. Do you want any? And I was like, when do you need to get rid of them by? And he was like, um, I'll get you a box. So, um, that was my way of saying no, but yes, but no, but okay. So it's, it's real, look at my hair, it's real bad today, but whatever. Um, it's real hard to, to get me to get new animals. Now, we're not ready for them, but uh, tonight I'm hopefully going to spend some time making a temporary outdoor enclosure. Those guys are just inside at the moment, um, and they'll be perfectly fine in that, as long as we keep them nice and clean. Hey, hang on a minute. As long as we keep them nice and clean, which won't be very hard for a few days, and then, um, yeah. So, it'll double up as the quail enclosure and an outside pit for the bobtail and the two blue tongues, and yeah. But that's all I'm going to give you guys. Uh, what's the, what? No more spoilers today, uh, but the is almost done, and it'll be finished tomorrow, so it'll look sick. Um, and I'll show you guys that tomorrow. So I'm gonna leave the video here. If you have any questions, hit me up. I'm slowly getting better at checking my uh, comments and stuff. I'm really sorry if you do comment on this and I don't get back to you. Um, if you jump on my Facebook page, Life of Sai, and hit me up through there, you can abuse me, I don't care, and um, tell me that I'm shit for not answering your uh, questions on YouTube, but, um, yeah, sorry if I don't get back to you, but you should be able to get hold of me through my Facebook page. All right, guys, take it easy, stay awesome, and remember, you can't fail if you try. See you later.